All right, into the hole. I'm gonna shatter my legs, but worth it. Oh, or I'm not gonna shatter my legs. Okay. I can't go there yet. Right, I have to go and get the boss key from behind that statue. That's why they gave me that tip. So... Friggin' bats. Not even dropping anything useful. Uh, arrows. Uh, I guess that's that's good. Okay, so we are close to the boss fight. Awesome. Just gotta smash all this stuff. And I have the last key I needed, so double great. Wow, the hammer takes a lot of hits to kill those things. The sword is actually a more efficient killing tool for slug. Come on. This room is made of bullshit. You bucket of... Bullshit! Okay. Got it. So now... Boss key? Nope. Friggin' spinny death tile room. Alright, come on, do your thing. How do you pronounce it? It is like like enemy that eats shield and certain claw. Oh jeez, it can eat my tunic too. I forgot about that. At least they drop a lot of money. So I got another token. Might be getting a better wallet soon after I leave this dungeon and all. Oh damn it! I uh, wasn't expecting another one of these. Alright, maybe this will be the last one. Got him! And I didn't explode! And there's a box! What, another key? What's in it? Probably a key. Yeah, probably a key based on the size of the box. Oh no, it's a box. Neat. So I guess I have all the keys. So here? Yes. Now I can get the boss key, and we can complete the dungeon, and all will be well with the world. Yes, you're free to go. Go help Big Brother. That was the plan. Okay. The moment we've all been waiting for. Big Key. Da 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 da. Yeah, boss key. Okay. Let's go fight a dragon. Pretty sure, yeah, you need to stun it with a Megaton Hammer and then sword it in the face. It's a cool fight. Kind of like Whack-A-Mole, but with a dragon. I'm not even paying attention to these flying things right now. I, I have not a care in the world. The amount of fucks I give is zero. I wonder if the uh, healing items will respawn, though. Like, can I, can I top off my health real quick? It'd be good if I could. Yes. Alright. 
so health is topped off. I still have two fairies and jars from earlier that I never ended up using. So I think we're in a good spot to go and fight Volvagia. So here comes the pain. This is a pretty cool fight too, like I was just saying. It's kind of like whack-a-mole but with a dragon. Good times, good times all around. And here it comes. The reveal is pretty neat. Oh yeah, and they, they take away your exit too, because, you know, why would they want you escaping? While it is big and impressive, it's actually a much smaller dragon than I was always expecting. Like, they built up this big dragon fight, and I thought this thing was going to be enormous. And It's big, but it's... Like, it's, it's not the giant world-ending terror that I was expecting. Just stun it. Oh no! Hey everybody, welcome back. Sorry for the weird jump there. My, uh, my game froze, so fun times there. Now we're legit going to fight this dragon. In the whack-a-mole game of the century. Sit through this again. Uh, actually, you know what the worst part about the game freezing was? I forgot to save before getting here, so I had to do a chunk of the dungeon again. Fortunately, you didn't have to watch me do that. Because, oh boy, let me tell you how much fun I had doing that. Okay, dragon. Dragon time. Come on, do the thing. But yeah, I was saying before um, that uh, I always thought it was kind of cool how, um, like, I was expecting Volvagio to be way bigger than uh, than it ended up being. It, it's relatively small for what I would think of as like a continent destroying dragon. Okay, so just avoid, avoid the dragon breath while it flies around. Eventually it will dive back into the hole and I can smack it with my hammer again. Go on, just go into the ground. Go dragon. Alright, so where is it coming from? Uh, middle. Smack it with the hammer, and stab it in the face. And then I think it's gonna come up again and fly around. We wash, rinse, repeat this process until the dragon stops being a dragon. And starts being a corpse. Oh jeez. Okay, have to avoid getting hit by all that. I might want to uh, take advantage of one of my healing items real quick. I think I'm gonna use the, uh, the milk, because I've had that in my pocket for well over a decade. I'm sure it's still good. Well, seven years, I guess. So, yeah, I just pulled a seven-year-old bottle of milk out of my pocket and drank it. That can only be good for my health. Dragon. Eat hammer. Alright, what's it gonna do this time? Breathe fire, drop more rocks. Combination of the two. Breathe fire. Ow. Apparently just vaguely touching the dragon is damaging. Volvagia, the boss of the fire temple, revived by the evil king. Don't know its weak point. Its weak point is apparently a hammer. But then again, who wouldn't that kill? Alright. Come on back. Alright, it does the, uh... Now it tries to fake me out. Alright, so I think I only have to hit it one more time. I could be crazy, but... 
That's at least what I think. Alright, rock dropping then. Uh, so it follows you. At least there's a good pattern to follow here. The rocks only fall where the dragon is at. That's, that's an interesting power for a dragon, just dropping boulders and stuff. There you are. Is this it? Nope, I guess one more. You know, this might have gone faster if I decided to hit it with the hammer instead of uh, slashing at it with my sword. But, you know, why would I do things the easy way, right? Besides, you know, you're gonna slay a dragon, doing it with a sword is the way to go. Why aren't you breathing? Why aren't you breathing fire? There we go. There's the fire breath. Okay, so this should be the last one? Maybe? I don't know. Hammer time! Yes! Okay, that got him. And the dragon is slain. Uh, I don't know why Ganondorf couldn't just revive it again if you were feeling froggy. Maybe two deaths for a dragon is too many. I mean, that's how it works in Skyrim, right? You kill the dragon a second time and it's gone for good. I like how it just reduces itself to a skeleton. Like, can I keep the skull? Like, mount this on my wall or something? That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, extra max health. Woo. My life energy is totally filled. Alright, let's get out of here. To the surface. Our magical crystal of awesome here. So... Huh. Sucks to be that guy. At least he didn't fall off the roof. That is... that is an eruption. Damn. And the sky is cleared. Excellent. And we're back at the Chamber of Sages, I guess. So here we'll get the medallion from Darunia, and then we can be on our way. But I'll probably do a lot of jump editing through this, because I think this guy's a bit long-winded. Thank you, brother. Goron Race. The real man. The wild Darunia. The Sage of Fire. All destiny. And helping me seal the evil here. Take this. The medallion. The power of the fire spirits. And my friendship. Aw. Friendship medallion. So you could say that I literally get to defeat Ganondorf later with the power of friendship. Got the power of God and anime on my side, apparently. You received the fire medallion. Darunia awakens as a sage and adds his power to yours. Don't forget, now you and I are true brothers. I mean, yeah. In a matter of speaking, I, I, I still think, you know, we don't exactly have the same mother, so that makes things a bit difficult. Oh, this one doesn't teleport me elsewhere. It drops me, uh... Drops me right in the volcano, so now I have to find my way out of here. Oh well, I think I can leave through this way, uh, provided I don't yoke myself into the lava pool. Ah! 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 Damn it! See, a bright side is I don't think that counts as dying. I think that just... it re-summons me back at the beginning of the area and uh, takes one of my hearts. Uh, see, so far I've been I've gone through this entire game without dying once, and I'd kind of like to see if I can beat the whole game without one death, because I think that would be cool. Um, is there anywhere I can go from here? Hammer time. Can I hookshot myself somewhere? Is there literally anywhere I can go? I guess not. Um, back the way I came, then. Oh, why? Uh, I mean, I could do the cheap and easy method of escape and 
just exit out of the game, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to find my way back legit. Here we go. Oh, wait. I wonder if I can smash these rocks now. Yes, I can. Cool. Let's see what's in here. It's a shop? First of all, how are these things alive in a volcano? Five bombs for 40 rupees, hell no. Ow. What ridiculously overpriced thing are you gonna sell me? Knock it off, arrows. 30 for 70. No, I get plenty of them for free just for killing things. I'm not gonna buy from you, I'm sure, but let's see. Deku nuts, five for twenty. No, I don't need I don't need Deku nuts. Yeah, okay, that was kind of a waste. Let's get out of here. There is, however, a door that I seem to remember I can access with uh, with the hammer now, because yeah, right here. Let's see what's in here. All right, this leads to somewhere I don't think I've been yet. Great fairy fountain. Awesome, wonder what she gives me. Uh, pull out the old ocarina. I always thought the design of the fairies were kind of cool. Well, the, the design of the fairy fountains were kind of cool. The design of the fairies is terrifying. Highly disconcerting. What have you got for me? <laughs> Welcome, my dude. I am the Great Fairy of Wisdom. Going to enhance your magic power. Okay, cool. I'll take that. More magic is always good, though I, I think I've barely used magic so far. Oh, I also get full health out of the deal. So, that's fun. I like how he holds up his hands like he's received something physical. No, you've received the metaphysical link. You now have twice as much magic power. Bell's made you weary, come back and see. Well, okay then. Wow, yeah, that is a magic bar. Okay. Uh, oh, I can smash this. So, what, I can go over here? Oh yeah, there's a ladder. Alright. Neato. So then maybe, maybe I can get that heart container that I was looking at a minute ago. Uh, yes, yes, I can climb down, awesome. Ah, uh, that's pretty friggin' cool. Sneak over here, get in there, get the heart. Yeah! Knew there was a reason I didn't just teleport back to the Temple of Time by turning things off. Though, uh, unless I can reach the center there, the top of that volcano rock thing. Uh, where? There. Yeah, I can't really reach that right now, unfortunately. So, uh, let me see what's under this rock real quick. And then I'll be on my way, I think. Um, huh. There's a tiny chest. Probably money. Nope, bombs! Well, okay then. I wonder why it made such a big deal out of me finding this. And I think the exit is there, yes. That is my way out. And we've defeated the second temple. Only three more to go, I guess. That's cool. Uh, I don't have a quick way down anymore, do I? Oh! Whoops. Thing literally kicked me off a mountain. What a jerk. 
Alright, I think here's a good place to leave it, so I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Link, here come to town. Come to save the Princess Zelda. Gonna 